Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about one compartment model IV bolus uh, modeling and we are going to use a Laplace transformations okay Laplace transformations to find out the equation for an IV bolus one compartment model right so if you don't know if you're unable to understand this Laplace transformations please refer to Khan Academy dot org okay they have explained in detail the Laplace transformations all right before I proceed into the this particular lecture let me tell you a couple of examples in the time domain uh, there is a time from time domain you transform uh, some terms to Laplace domain and finally you'll transform this Laplace domain back to you know time domain by applying inverse uh, Laplace functions okay okay so now let's say a human body has one compartment model okay and you apply the dose of D in a volume of some volume V so what is the concentration concentration is equal to dose divided by volume right so this concentration since it's a human body there is a continuous excretion and elimination of the drug from the body so the drug is being eliminated at a rate of minus K or the time being so if you have to write a differential equation, how do you write a differential equation for this one? It's nothing but difference of concentration with respect to the time dc or dt is equal to minus k times c. This is in time domain right now, right? This is in time domain. So if I have to apply Laplace domain for dc or dt, uh, the Laplace domain for dc or dt is what? It's s c bar minus c zero that's a concentration time zero okay and s c bar and the laplace domain for minus k c is k times c bar okay so now let's rewrite this equation now i'm just rewriting dc or dt um, you know particular to uh, laplace domain so dc or dt as i mentioned this is sc minus s naught c naught sc minus c naught is equal to minus k times c bar okay now i'm going to rewrite this equation and c bar is equal to s plus k is equal to c naught i just rewrite i have rewritten this equation so now c bar is equal to c naught or s plus k okay and now if i want to apply the inverse of laplace for s plus k i'm going to apply inverse of laplace for s plus k the inverse of s of uh, laplace for 1 over s plus a is equal to e to the power of minus at okay e to the power of minus at all right so now let's apply this to this equation so now c bar now we're converting applying an inverse laplace transformation c bar becomes c is equal to c naught times s plus k is what s plus 1 by s plus a is e to the power of minus a t and 1 by s plus k is e to the power of minus k t right and what is c naught by the way as you are aware c naught is nothing but the concentration at time zero that is nothing but dose divided by volume so c is equal to dose divided by volume times e to the power of minus k t you can rewrite this equation whatever way you want so c is equal to c is equal to dose divided by volume times e to the power of minus k is what clearance or volume right clearance or volume times t you can rewrite this equation all right that is it